my salary is just a little above the minimum wage. Am I covered by the increase in minimum wage? Ayan. So, ang question ni Juan de la Cruz is, essentially, sana all. <laughs> diba? So, sa mga employees na above minimum, mataas pa sa minimum, hindi po kayo covered. However, itong question po na ito, ay hindi ganun kasimple. It's not as simple as that, no? Kasi, kung titingnan po natin, 40 pesos po yung increase. Diba? Let's say, in National Capital Region, NCR, the minimum wage is 570. From 570, we, we increase the minimum wage by 40 pesos, then the new minimum wage will be 610, no? 610. So, what happens to, to all the employees who belong to that bracket above 570 but hanggang dun lang sa 610? What, what, what happened to these employees since they are not minimum wage earner? Covered po ba sila? Ano mangyayari? It doesn't stop there. What about those employees who are receiving 615, 620, 625, wherein ang difference nila from the minimum wage earner, from the newly hired employees, from the probationary employees, from the unskilled, untrained, unexperienced employee, ay ganun lang, 5 pesos, 10 pesos, 15 pesos difference. Yun po yun. Yung mga above minimum wage, hindi naman sila covered ng ng increase in minimum wage, the situation I just illustrated to you is an example of what we call wage distortion. no? Wage distortion. Nadi-distort po yung wage structure. Kasi bago po magkaroon ng minimum wage, maayos naman yung sistema eh. Ito ang sweldo ng, ng newly hired, ng mga probationary. Ito ang sweldo. Siyempre, mas mataas ang sweldo pag uh, ikaw ay pag ikaw ay tumatagal na sa company, pag ikaw ay mas mataas yung position mo, no? pag mas mataas yung katungkulan mo or mas marami kang responsibility or you have experience or you were given promo- promotion increase, syempre meron tayong uh, fair and objective wage structure. Now, pag tumaas ang minimum wage, tumataas yung floor, ito pong wage tr- structure that has been working before our minimum before the minimum wage increase, nagugulo, nadi-distort. This is wage distortion. Now, how to handle wage distortion? Ayan. Ang quick answer po. Ang quick answer, go to the website of the National Wages Productivity Commission. They have a very nice website. And dun po, search for the topic wage distortion. And there are several solutions. There are several approach on how to address wage distortion happening in any company, in any establishment. The easiest, the simplest, the no-brainer approach, but the most expensive approach is the across-the-board increase. Across-the-board increase means that kung may minimum wage increase of 40 pesos, Lahat po, from the lowest ranking employee up to the highest ranking employee, up to the president, no? makaka-receive ng 40 pesos. Lahat po yan. So that's the easiest, simplest, and laziest, but the most expensive solution. There are other solutions, but it requires uh, medyo pag-aaralan, study, and a lot of consultation with the employees affected 